Pattern Master, well, when I first became involved with Pattern Master was uh, about 1993. And uh, one of my partners, Mike C., he had an idea about uh, controlling patterns with, without constriction. And he brought this uh, choke tube t with, uh, to us that he had made with some set screws and lock nuts and things on it. It looked a little gnarly, but it, we shot it and, you know, it actually looked like it did something. So I was working at a machine shop at the time along with my other partner, Jerry Poe, and uh, we started working on this and started trying different different ways because nobody's going to buy it with four set screws sticking out of it. Way to make it marketable and still uh, for it to for it to work. Uh, we had a lot of trial and error. Uh, we made little studs. I mean, they were twelve thousandths high, and I mean, very tedious things. And we put them around in the circle and put a. Uh, metal sleeve over the top of them to hold them in place and uh, that worked okay but it just was too time consuming and, and not practical for for production and finally uh, we we agreed upon the uh, broaching system where when you machine it you leave a ring totally in the inside you get, we have a special made brooch that we've had made up and we can pull that through and it will cut off, it will cut out everything but five small blocks around the inside. And that seemed to work very well. Although it was not real consistent at first. And uh, Jerry Poe and I worked on it, we worked on it some more, we, you know, we worked together every day. And um, we found by putting some certain tapers on the inside, that we got it to be much more consistent and it, it'll work better. You know, we really was not sure why this did what it did. And when we first, we thought it was grabbing a hold of the front part of a wad and, and separating it. But as I, made the, as I made the first cutaway, probably in 96, and the cutaway, what I'm referring to is this portion here where we cut it away so you can see what's on the inside and now with having a wad in there and you push the wad through you can see that it's not the front part that catches it's the base and then it started making sense what we were doing is we were letting everything exit and holding the wad back for that uh, microsecond and everything would go out in one little unit rather than stringing out like a tapered choke would do. Everything started, and from that point forward, we uh, realized that there's, that we can do other things with this. Um, you know, we realized that this, this length right here would give us a full, to an extra full pattern. But the shot string would be very short. And that's because when the base of the wad hits that, everything is still inside. So everything just exits and it just stays together. Well, everybody doesn't want a full or extra full choke. So how are we gonna make this thing open up, shoot a bigger pattern, but yet keep that short, dense shot string? So we went back to the drawing board and we decided that let's cut part of that off to get back into the uh, back toward the stud ring. And when we did that, what happens when the wad came out, now we have a fourth to a half of the wad out the front of the tube opening up, throwing shot in a larger pattern this way, but still separating the wad and keeping it short this way. Well, that was great. So we took it one step farther. And we found out if we cut it all the way back to that ring inside there, most of the wad is already out the front of the choke, opened up, throwing shot in a larger pattern, but still separating the wad and keeping it short and dense. So at that point, we had a equivalent to a full or an extra full choke. We had equivalent to a modified choke, and we had equivalent to a uh, cylinder or improved cylinder 
but we still had all the, the Pattern Master technology. I think probably in the 90s someplace, they started coming up with a three and a half inch ammo. Well, it has longer wad inside. So we started making the extended, um, the extended tube, which would be like this right here. The reason we make the extended tube is so we can still get the full to extra full patterns with a longer wad. Everything is still inside when it separates. If you shoot the three and a half through this length, it's gonna give you more like a modified, improved modified, because you're gonna have some of the wad out the front opening up when it comes out. So we learned how to get much more versatile with it. And that's pretty much how Pattern Master works.